Hey everybody, this is H.R. Theater, and I just saw Suicide Squad. Yeah, today I'm going to do a little review of it, just like, uh, basically just to give a little of my own opinion on it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this will have spoilers, okay? But I'm going to get into that a bit later. Right now, let me just give my general thought about it, I guess. I liked it, you know? It's very good. James Gunn was, a. <laughs> you could tell he, he really liked the idea and wanted to do all out with it, like, seriously, he just wanted everything with it. So, in my opinion, I suggest you check it out, okay? Now, again, this is a non-spoiler thing. It's okay. If you haven't, and you're watching this, and want to get an opinion before going spoilers, check it out. It's pretty awesome, okay? Okay, now that's over. Uh, here's the spoilers, okay? Again, spoilers, okay? So, for those of you who are still here, you've either seen the film, or you just don't care, and you want to hear spoilers, you don't care. Okay, here's what I okay, here's what I think about the movie of spoilers now. Holy shit that beginning <laughs> Like seriously The beginning just Fuck they kill so many characters like so many How the f Oh man It is kind of amazing really How many characters they kill because in that again this is a spoiler it's a spoiler view okay again Get out of here if you haven't seen it. I'm telling you right now. They do kill characters. That's the Astro Suicide Squad. They kill some characters, obviously. But this is intense. And the thing is that, like... The thing is, though, like, I didn't expect... They were killing characters. I didn't expect them to kill. Like, for instance, uh, Boomerang. Hell, Rick Flag at the end. Fuck! I thought they would have capped him at least. No, they killed him off. They killed Boomerang. One of the, fun one of the funniest characters from the first movie. They're killing him. He's like Kano from Mortal Kombat. A true Falcano was a lot more funny and actually really enjoyable, but still, Boomerang Guy was actually pretty fun as well. I think killed him off. He's dead now. Ugh. <laughs> it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking amazing. Legit, I, 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 okay, so, okay, so, uh, what they go through is basically they're going to fight and they're going to, they're going to fight these people and try to kill this uh, thing called Park Starfish, you know? And, and and here's the thing. At the beginning, you think you, when you see these characters, you think, "Oh yeah, one or two is going to die." No, every character you see in the trailer, every character that, that you see walking up that line right there, dead. They're they're dead. Except for Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn lives, which is amazing. I'm kind of cool. They got a good cast for Harley Quinn. She's actually a lot better here than the first one. You know, that's because they actually play to her being crazy. So yeah. But yeah, man, they, they fucking went all out, you know. <laughs> they, they went all out, man. You know, but, but yeah, like uh, they killed so many characters. Why I thought we were gonna live? I I thought I at least thought that Nathan Fillion's character was gonna go on, but no, they they killed him in a pretty humorous way. The gods, like he, he apparently, he, okay, you guys don't know, he's that detachable. I think I think it's called that detachable kid. I think, I think that's what it's called. But uh, basically, basically, he uh, he detaches his arms, and he thinks he's gonna he thinks he's gonna be cool. Like he's gonna be like like bam, grab a gun, shoot things as it's going. No, 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 all he does is detach his arms. The arms slowly go to the gods, and they slap. The god arms just arms just slapping the gods. And even then, I'm hard that they're like nee, 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 like that. It's it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. It's seeing all this happen and. <laughs> And you gotta say, and I gotta say, like, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. They killed him off by having the guy shoot his arms. Which apparently still causes his body to bop up blood. I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense. But I, I, I do gotta say, it's just, it was just funny. It's so fucking awesome just seeing these kind of things happen to these people. They actually do portray, like, as a suicide squad. And not just, oh yeah, there's some bad guys that are... That are that I can just, that are just turn into heroes. No, 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 they're not doing that. No, there's actually, these are criminals who is a villains. Villains who are sent here by force and who are expected to die. All these, who all these not are in the market expected to return. And they treat it that way. They actually make it seem like it's just this one big killing spree. And it's awesome. It's so awesome. It's about the characters, okay? So the first character that they have on there that I, I love the most is King Shark. This beast 
He was voiced by Rob, voiced by Sylvester Stallone. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Rob because I, I I may have thought of Rocky, <laughs> sorry, because Sylvester Stallone. But he was voiced by Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone. And Sylvester, it's so happy. I'm so happy to see Sylvester Stallone in a superhero film because it's finally he's in one of these, and he's epic. He's hilarious as well. He's my favorite character of the group, and it's just it's just fun seeing these things. One of the other things about this is the fact that. He's basically indestructible. Like, it's hope, super hard to kill him, you know? Since his skin is, like, very durable. And even then, he's kind of, uh, he's, he's always hungry. So he's basically, kind of like Amanda Walker said, he's the most powerful of the, he's the most powerful one of the group. It kind of also kind of I kind of also works the fact that they, sh they do this little, they do this a pleasing effect. They do this effect where... The the effect, actual effect of the monster, effect of King Shark, like his actual bicep, it looks really good. It's a it's a good effect. I, I'm I'm glad I'm looking at that and at the most and most time I'm I'm thinking, holy shit, it looks like he's actually there. It legit looks like he's actually there. It's really great, you know. It's 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 really good. Uh, but, but, but one of the other things is that. Uh, is that I kind of like how they emphasize how he how we we don't know all of his powers at all at will you know the fact that when he's when he's in the rain he actually does seem to be stronger like like when he, when he's in, he's in water it also kind of helps the fact that they also when he tears something the apartment gets real angry you know they show lightning strike that kind of could lead into the fact that he was he's basically the descendant of a god. So that could lead to the fact of him be of him using his godly powers, may not intentional there, but he got powers to activate right there when he lies in anger in the rain. That's kind of cool, you know. I like that. Uh, the other another character is Bloodsport. Bloodsport is basically he, he's he, he, it's supposed to be Deadshot. If I remember correctly, it was supposed to be Deadshot, but Will Smith's scheduling got sort of caught up. It was didn't have have time because his scheduling was between. Uh, Genesis Man and uh, Aladdin. I think that's correct. I I don't know if that's correct. I might be wrong. Who knows? Uh, but basically they did this and uh, they got Idris Elbow instead to portray another another character called Bloodsport, who's sort of like that shot. Only, only he's got, only he's kind of a he's kind of a only he's kind of a bad father. <laughs> like, like. Like, like there's this one scene where it shows him going to visit his, shows him getting a visit from his daughter, you know, and and you think you think for a bit that it's gonna it's gonna they're gonna reveal that oh like oh he got in, oh he he got in trouble and he's trying to he's trying to make sure his daughter doesn't do what he wants to his daughter doesn't do what he does you know you know but when she tells him that she stole she she got caught for shoplifting. He basically told her that it's told her that you should have had a look at, you should have had a friend that looking out for anyone else, and basically, basically tells her it doesn't tell her that she shouldn't have stopped it. Then tells her that she should that she should have done it better. Like actually, that's just hilarious. That's just that's just hilarious. My opinion because they do show that it's a different kid from Deadshot. This guy is still a villain. He's not there to just at the edge like that. Not there to be like. Oh, and that they just tell his daughter like, oh, 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 don't do that. Don't shoplift. It, don't do what daddy does. Daddy got anything for that. No, no. In fact, he tells, and tells her, tells her, this is what you should have done. It's going to do it better next time. Okay. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> uh, the next character is uh, be, oh, sorry, but, but yeah, he was a funny character. Yeah, he was a funny character. Uh, the next character. Sorry if I'm looking down. By the way, my TV is like right here. It's like I keep looking at myself by accident. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna change this. Anyway, uh, the thing, the other thing about this is the fact that for one thing, we sort of uh, the next character, the uh, the next character is a uh, peacemaker, who's played by John Cena. He's sort of like exactly like Dead Bloodsport, only he's a bit more, uh, he's a bit more hypocritical, I guess. Not not critical, no, he's 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 a bit more he's a bit more evil, you know, a bit more villainous, you know, like he he's he'll, he'll, he'll follow them. Like, he'll follow the words of his commander no matter what. And that's all what he does. That's all what he, he that's all what he does. He's sort of like the villain villain, but not really. Like I, until you know, that's kinda of works for him. He sort of like he, he follows his superior's words down to the T. Yeah, that's kinda of what he does. 
Uh, okay, so uh, then there's Ratcatcher 2. Uh, she's she's pretty cool. She's played by Daniela Mechilo. I think that's pronounced it. I'm probably wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at pronouncing names. Uh, but she, she's pretty fun. She basically, she, she's sort of a person that can uh, control rats with devices that was given to her by her father, Ratcatcher 1, who is played by Takeda... Uh, uh, Takia Whitaker, Whitaker. I can't pronounce his name right either. The guy, the guy who, the guy who uh, made the Thor Ragnarok. The guy who made that. He's pretty. He's pretty fun as well, and very emotional as well. They do portray a character that's very emotional, but also it's kind of fun seeing that. It's like yeah, it's very emotional seeing this. But yeah. Uh, one of the other things about this is the fact that she's portrayed. She's portrayed pretty well, and. Uh, She's she's able to control rats by this device that I was given my father, like I said, and uh, she also has a, she has a little friend, a little rat friend called Sebastian. I'm pretty sure that was, that's what his name was, but uh, she uh, but, but he's he's pretty, he's pretty fun as well. It's also fun to see uh, Bloodsport, it's Elvis character Bloodsport, uh, be afraid every time the rat comes on because he, he has a fear of rats. So yeah, it's, it's kind of fun seeing the, this rat where he's rat being this rat. Little, little Sebastian being so nice to Bloodsport. Yeah, he, he, every time he's just like, oh, no, 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 He doesn't, though, thankfully. Uh, anyway, uh, but the other thing is that, uh, uh, the other one is my second favorite character, who is also, who's called Polka Dot Man. He's, uh, he's played by, uh, David Dost, uh, David Dostramakian. David Sta David Dostramakian. I probably pronounced it horribly. I'm sorry. But he he's played by that guy. He he's he's also from the MCU, and Batman. He he, he also in Batman. But uh, he's also in MCU. He's he played the Russian guy in the MCU in Ant Man in the, in the Ant Man series. He played the Russian guy, the Russian friend. Yeah. He, he, he's pretty fun as well. I, I like him. He's pretty fun as well, you know? It's also... <laughs> it's funny because of the fact that he, he basically... His power is that he can throw polka dots at people and anything his polka dot touch it, and his polka dots touch, sort of burns. They're basically like acid. It's, 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 like, it's like acid to them, you know? They basically, they basically burn whenever they touch anything. The fun thing about him... Oh. That's weird. Oh. The fun thing about him is the fact that he's so depressed because of the fact that the polka dots are sort of like a virus inside him, given to him by his mom. And so, so, so thinking about his mom, he now sees his mom everywhere in everybody. And he fantasizes about killing her so many times. It is, it is so hilarious. There's been a point in the final, in the final battle with Sorrow that... He just opens character Bloodsport tells him tell, tells him look at Star and t tells him to look at Star and, and and basically tells him that basically tells him that tell him that 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 Star that's not Star that's not that's not, that, that's not Star that's his mom. <laughs> and when you pan over, you see the giant, and, and you see the mom. His mom, uh, you see his mom, his, his, his mom as a giant lady tearing down these buildings. And the mom, the mom is played by, uh, the mom is played by Lynn Ash. I'm pretty sure that's pronounced right. Uh, but she's played by that. <laughs> and, and she's tearing down the You see her going, ah, ah. <laughs> tearing down these giant buildings. <laughs> and, and he, According to him, he fantasizes about killing her so much, so he he's happy to just shoot his polka dots at her and just try to kill her, because he hates his mom so much for what she did to him. <laughs> oh man, it's just so funny. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's just so funny. Uh, last one, I think if I'm correct, uh, is uh, okay, there's two more. There's Holly Quinn. Everyone knows her. She's she, she's pretty good too. She's pretty good. She's played by Margaret Robbie. She's pretty good. She actually is portrayed a lot more crazy in this part. And then there's Captain Rick Flag, played by Joe Kinnaman. I think that's his name. Uh, he, he's pretty good too. He actually is a lot better in this film because then they don't give him the boring that he's not so he's not a loyal captain. He actually has a lot more fun and a lot more character to where 
He's sort of he's, he's sort of like the he's sort of like the the man who who's not an idiot, but he still hates Amanda Walker. He hates her. Oh, and there's Amanda Walker. She's like a fucking bitch in this movie. The one who plays her, who I'm pretty sure is a uh, Viola Davis. Viola Davis plays Amanda Walker, and Amanda Walker is such a she play. Uh, Viola Davis plays her perfectly because Amanda Walker is such a bitch in this movie, and it is just. When that when that one person hit her in the head with a golf club, it was so satisfying, so satisfying because it was like yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, the other thing is the fact that one thing in this movie, uh, they do so many characters that just die easily. There's there's one character that I really like that was played by James Gunn's brother. Uh, at least he, he did the mocap for it was the weasel. That was fucking hilarious. Although there was one James Gunn's brother that does get a cameo in this. As none other than Calendar Man. Yes, they have Calendar Man as a brief cameo. He's the guy who insults Polka Dot Man, saying, telling him why does he come to his uh, why does he come do why does he come decorate his uh, girl's birth his his daughter's birthday party, and <laughs> it's just fun seeing Calendar Man, Calendar Man. I'll say that Calendar Man. Think about that. The man who kills on sun around sun holidays. And he dresses up for it, and he's insulting Polka Dot Man. Fucking hell, man! That's like, fuck. It's just, it's just so funny seeing this. Now, one of the things I will say, uh, now one thing, the one thing the fighting, and everyone knows this pretty much, is Star the Conqueror. And I will say, when I first saw him, I was freaked out. I, I don't, I don't like the idea of being controlled. That's, that's one of the freakiest things to me is having no control over your body. Either, whether it be having a parasite, or whether it be someone mind controlling you, or whether it be a body snatcher kind of situation, you know that kind of thing. That freaks me out always, you know. But this one, they do. It does. It's freak me out, and I hated it. I, I, I love the film, but I hate the idea of like of like them taking over your body. It's like, ugh, you know. But but this one, it's kind of weird. It's just, it's cool seeing these, gi these giant starfish come around and just attack the city. And when they kill them off, which they do, they, it's obviously going to kill them off. When they do, they make me, f I felt bad for him as well because he actually just said, he actually says, they gave him a line. They gave him a good line. That's, that's him saying he was happy floating around space watching the stars. I was, I, I still heard that. I was like, Ah, God damn it! They made me feel bad for a giant starfish. God, it was just fucking epic, man. Just seeing this. <laughs> story's pretty good. Story, story's well. It's it's well written. It's it's not the uh, the thing about this. Uh, the, the story isn't the main reason why you come see this movie, and the movie knows it as well. The movie knows that you, you don't watch it just for a story. You watch it for these characters. That's the whole thing. The story is not necessarily a main focus of this movie. And that's a good thing for this movie, okay? Because with Suicide Squad, you're mainly going to focus on the characters itself. That's sort of what's going on. You focus on the characters and how they interact and how they're portrayed and with, and with their backstory. Basically, you're watching these characters work off each other. And that's a, that's a good thing to do with this movie, you know? Because uh, cause the story... Because the Suicide, last Suicide Squad... They try to put more story, put story up front rather than the characters, you know, and that's that's not that's not and that you still have that, you know, they didn't do that very well. They they got a bad story and they tried to do that, but they didn't work out. With this one, it's more character focused. The story sort of more takes the background to it, you know. That's 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 still that's still done great. I'm like this movie was great. This movie was great. I I wish I wish they do more of this. Yeah, because this on all to Zam, uh, like Aquaman and Wonder Woman, the first one, they were f so amazing. I wish I wish DC would do more like this, dude. This more, cause it it just seems like this sun head in the right direction. Finally, this sun head in the right direction. But we need more of this. We don't need an MC. We don't need an MCU con continuity stuff. We don't need that for DC for DC. We, we don't need that. We just need good movies. Joker was a great movie. And look at that. It's not part of the DCEU. It's just a standalone movie. You know, do something different. Do something different, DC. Don't, don't do connected movies. Do standalone movies. And just have them be fun, you know? If you want, you, you can just do that.
I mean, you're already kind of doing that with uh, with the new Batman movie with Robin Pattinson coming out. That looks awesome. I want to see that. I'm, I'm going to go see that when it comes out. But, but yeah, but yeah, I, I, I recommend right now, guys, I recommend you go watch it, okay? Because it, it's, it's in theaters on HBO Max. Watch it. Have a good time. You're going to love it, okay? Uh, but yeah, guys, that's my review of the Suicide Squad movie. Trying something new out. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'll, I'll come back with another review, probably. Who knows? If you guys like this one, I'll make I'll do another one. I just really want to talk about this one because I love it so much. I'll see you guys the next time. Have a good day. Bye.